Julie Umerly works in series, which are always open-ended, with an idea for a new painting often deriving from a previous one. The works included in recent paintings might be seen to fall into two main groupings, one comprising solid architectural shapes or polygons. An example from this group is the Black and Red series, which dates back to 2018 and depicts solid forms on raw canvas. The simplicity of the neutral ground focuses the viewer's attention on the coloured form, be it an octagon or the squashed cylinder referred to by Eumilly as ellipsis. Positioned so as to almost touch the edges of the square frame, the black version sucks you in, as if into an empty, echoing void. The exact same shapes rendered in red, however, do the polar opposite, leaping out at you, visceral and taking up their own space. Umali, who spent a long time living and studying in New York, is strongly influenced by the abstract expressionists and minimalists, in particular by Robert Motherwell. In this series, she uses a red which epitomises the American artist's comment, and I quote, that the pure red of which certain abstractionists speak does not exist. Any red is rooted in blood, glass, wine, hunter's caps and a thousand other concrete phenomena. There is certainly a sense of concreteness here. Certainty, absoluteness and even absolution. The works too are symmetrical, typically a sign of health and strength when found in nature. Humans are attracted to symmetry and our brains are programmed to recognise and compute it more easily than asymmetry. As the physicist Alan Lightman writes in The Accidental Universe, The World You Thought You Knew, symmetry represents order and we crave order in this strange universe we find ourselves in. The search for symmetry and the emotional pleasure we derive when we find it must help us make sense of the world around us just as we find satisfaction in the repetition of the seasons and the reliability of friendships. Symmetry is also economy. Symmetry is simplicity. Symmetry is elegance.